Okay, so today we're going to see two more blocks uh, under the motion category. Okay, so let's first prepare your project. Okay, so you create any default project and I added X and Y backdrop. Okay, the way to do this, if you can, you can go to this choose backdrop from the library, you click on this, you go to other and you can see X and Y grid okay so you can just add this just to know that just to get an idea of uh, you know what is an X axis and what is Y axis so as I mentioned earlier that look at this backdrop see the X value um, uh, falls between 240 to negative 240 okay so positive to negative and y axis uh, range is uh, y equal to positive 180 and negative 180 okay right so positive on the top uh, negative on the bottom okay here x is positive on the um, right side and negative on the left side okay so now this uh, of course you can add any sprite you like uh, you can add cat car uh, any other cartoon character I'm going to add a ball so I added a ball okay so now my ball is around uh, okay first of all to find out the position of your sprite by looking at the right top corner you can see the ball is right now x equal to 102 and y equal to 95 okay now look at this block so this particular two blocks uh, change x value by specified value and change y by specified value okay this particular two blocks falls under motion category and they are called a stack block the reason is they call a stack so you can attach any blocks on the bottom and on the top okay so you can stack one block on the top of another block okay now now let's look at uh, okay so this particular ball right now uh, as I mentioned that X position is 102 when you use this block you uh, you're telling that uh, change my X value okay change this sprite X value by 5 that means uh, wherever currently this ball is let's say right now is X equal to 105 and now you are adding 5 to this one right so it's 107 okay so let's go ahead and double click this uh, change block as soon as I double click this block see the ball moved uh, 5 degree from wherever it was right it was on the x equal to 102 now is on x equal to 107 okay so let's uh, move a little bit more right let's say 20 and double click this right so ball just moved 20 from wherever it was so now x equal to 127 okay now you can also enter negative value to go back okay so let's go back and minus uh, negative 20 right so it's going back now see so as soon as you double click wow it's going back right so you just keep uh, subtracting the negative 20 from wherever it is right now so x equal to now negative 20 uh, negative 73 okay let's so same uh, way you can change the y value right so right now y value is 95 so I'm telling it to go 20 change by 20 right so it's going up right uh, now same way when you enter the negative value it's gonna go back right and it's going to move down right look at this right so yeah this is very very straightforward um, just play around with this and uh, we will look into it um, uh, the advanced uh, tutorial how do we use this in our application or any other artwork or game uh, in the future videos okay uh, and thanks for watching and uh, see you in a future video